So um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing this, what we're going to, uh, what we basically need to apply is going to be FOIL. Um, you could also use the box method, which we've gone over, Sierra, um, before as well. But in this case, I'll just do FOIL first, outer, inner, last. Well, the thing is, what can we add? But remember, this doesn't have a square root with it. This doesn't have a square number. Well, remember, square root of x plus the square root of x equals 2 square root of x, right? Well, if I had said like x plus the square root of x, those aren't like terms. No, but I'm saying the 5 times 2. OK, well, still, I can't add 5 plus that. I know. I still can't do that, though. Let's look at it. Let's see. Let's play, let's play a game. Let's do with numbers that we know. 2 plus 3 times the square root of 4. Agree with me? OK. So you want to add the 2 and the 3 to give you 5 square root of 4. Correct? All right, now let's see what the answer is. Square root of 4 is what? 2. 2 times 3 is? 6. six. Plus 2 is? 8. 8. If you do it this way, add the 2 and the 3, you get 5. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 5 is? 10. 10. Do you see how they do not equal each other? Right? Mm -hmm. So the correct part, you cannot combine these because they this is attached to the square root, this one's not. All right? So what we need to do though is apply FOIL. So if I multiply my first terms, I have 5 times 3, which is 15. My outer terms, I have 5 times negative 5 square root of 2, which would be a negative 5 square root of 2. My inner terms are going to be 3. Now remember, you can multiply though. You, can add, you can't add them, but you can multiply the numbers. 3 times 2 square root of 2 is going to give you positive 6 square root of 2. And 2 square root of 2 times negative 5 square root of 2 is a negative 10 square root of 2. Does anybody have any questions on what I just did? Can't you do, the other way? do what the other way? Yeah, you can use the box method, you mean? The what? You have to multiply by applying the distributive property. It's just like if this it's just like if this was five plus two x times three minus two x or three minus five x. You know how to multiply these two, right? You have to apply the same process. You can't do anything else different. You have to apply FOIL. So now, though, I notice that I have here, I have the same radicand as well as the same root. So 15, so negative 25 plus 6 is going to give me 15, negative 19, square root of 2, minus 10. Oh, wait, that's square root of 2 um, squared, which is 4, right? Negative 10 square root of 4 is 2. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. So that's actually negative 20. Jennifer, I guess you're not interested in improving this, are you? OK. OK. So remember, square root of 2 times square, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 2 squared, which is square root of 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Right? Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. All right? 15 minus 20 is negative 5 minus 19 square root of 2. And that is your final.